Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on who is jealous of you and why, and then advice for dealing with this as well. We have four piles, one, two, three, four. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. So, let's get started with pile one. Pile one, we're going to move these over for now, and these over for now. Let's see, this is somebody who is jealous of your ability to do random acts of kindness, your ability to be so giving and loving and beautiful, your ability to unlock your inner child possibly as well. They may even be jealous of your living situation or the new place you're moving into if you're moving into a new place. This person could be somebody who is very stuck in their own emotions, somebody that um, has a hard time seeing the light in life because of the darkness they are facing. This is somebody who's very jealous of your ability to remain strong, happy, and positive throughout any changes or any darkness or any um, bad experiences you've had to remain this ball of light and sunshine. This may even be somebody you may have met while traveling. You may have traveled with this person. You also could be traveling, and this could be why they're jealous as well. They're jealous of your ability to be all in, no fear. Um, you're somebody who fights for what you believe in. You stand up for what you feel is right. You're somebody who does not believe in anyone infringing on the rights of others as well. We have intelligent, Gemini, intuitive, Pisces. So this person could be a Pisces or a Gemini. You could be a Pisces or a Gemini. I feel like this person may be a bit two-faced. Um, they may be somebody very sensitive and emotional, but I don't feel like they show that side of themselves. I feel like you show that side of yourself and they're jealous of your ability to be vulnerable and open. So let's see what we have here. Cousin. Teacher. Go-to person, provider, lustful person, supportive person, a faded relationship. So it's somebody that you had a good relationship with at one time, but it has kind of faded out. This is somebody who you may have been very supportive for them, or they may have been very supportive for you. They could definitely be somebody who is lusting after you as well, and maybe there are other people in your life, and that's what they're jealous of. Um, I feel like you're somebody who's a go-to person, a teacher, a provider, somebody who is kind of family to everyone, somebody who is there to love people, nurture people, care for people, show people through your actions as well as your wisdom, um, how to ac accomplish certain things. I feel like you're a very supportive person for people around you. Maybe even extra supportive to one of your cousins. It could be an aunt or an uncle. Could be a cousin as well, though. Let me know in the comments what fits most for you. So we have simplify your life and forgive this person. I don't value others because I don't value me. So this person has no self-value. This person does not love themselves the way they should. This person does not respect themselves the way they should. Lustful person. This person could be somebody who gives their sexual energy away very freely to anybody who comes looking because they may be somebody who is really seeking that attention and that validation because they aren't valuing themselves. They aren't validating themselves. We have heartbreak has been a big part of your life over and over again each time you rise back up a pure warrior so strong it's breathtaking you live you learn you bounce back and try try for it all again you're always all in so once again with the all in message you are somebody who is all in you're somebody who isn't afraid to try again after hurt or hardship you are somebody who keeps moving forward you're somebody who lets old relationships go and this person is stuck on something you guys had together or something along those lines if it's an ex you are bubbly and playful there's always a bounce to your step it's like you are in your own little world and nothing can bother you there so this person is jealous because you are able to stay in your own energy 
you are able to be happy and joyous, positive, uh, maybe even youthful, even though you might be a little bit older. You may be somebody who's very youthful still. Six of Wands, they're jealous of the recognition you get, maybe for your poetry, maybe for your love, maybe for your light you spread, maybe for your imagination, your creativity. Um, they're jealous of how many love offers you get because you may get a lot of love offers as well. You may have a lot of charming people or poetic people who come in. They're jealous of your ability to communicate the truth of your emotions, to be seen and recognized for who you really are on the inside. And they're jealous of your emotional maturity. I feel like this person may be a little emotionally immature as well. Worthiness, self-love. So you're somebody who views yourself as worthy and you love yourself. You view yourself as worthy of real love. When a situation shows that it's not about real love, you walk away from it. When a situation shows that it is about real love, you step into it because you know you are worthy of love. I am worthy of the ultimate happiness. I deserve and accept it. And damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. If he asks about it, I'll be like, no, I think you're thinking of something else. And then I'll run away very quickly. And maybe this person makes you feel guilty about your self-love as well. So you may not spend a whole lot of time around this person because of that. And if there is someone in your life making you feel guilty about getting happiness for yourself, about feeling worthy and um, setting boundaries, make sure that you are not allowing that person to affect your energy. I openly embrace a feeling of self-love, the PG kind. I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have, and I show myself love in any way that I can. And when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. If not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. You got that, self? So, yeah, you're somebody who really takes the time out to know yourself, to really love yourself and express yourself fully. It's life. It's interesting. It's fun. So, our lovely Ascended Master who's here to join us today is Bob Ross. Look around. Look at what we have. Beauty is everywhere. You only have to look to see it. Every painting is going to be different, and that's what makes it great. So... Your advice from Bob Ross is to set your boundaries in a healthy way, to know that every painting is going to be different, and that's what makes it great. Every situation is going to be different. Um, see the beauty in all the different situations. If you're feeling um, unworthy or left out in the cold or um, ashamed of who you are, or like you don't have enough, make sure that you are looking around you at everything that you have and be grateful for everything that you have. Be grateful for the beauty you see and everything around you. You only have to look to see it. So look, look within yourself and look in the world around you. Also, remember to be logical when stepping into situations. Remember to communicate in a mature manner. Remember that you have the intelligence to do whatever it is that you're looking to do as well. And remember that life is supposed to be interesting, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be different, and it's not supposed to be inside a box. So if anybody is trying to keep you from being your true self and expressing your true self, step outside their boxes and don't allow them to box you in. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated for you, who this person is, what you might be going through, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. So, for pile two, I feel like this is somebody who tried to keep you um, tied up, tried to keep you guessing, tried to keep you in suspense and mystery about who they are or what they're doing. Um, this could be somebody who appeared to be this amazing awesome person, maybe even a love partner. Um, they appeared to be such a great person and they turned out to be a toad or a frog. Um, this person, you may not even know exactly who it is, but it's somebody who really made you feel tied up. Like you couldn't do what you wanted to do. Um, 
the praying mantis came out and the praying mantis there is one thing i know about praying mantises and that's that the female will eat the male's head after they copulate so that she can get pregnant something in his head there's hormones when she eats it to where it actually fertilizes the union they had so it could be somebody too who was really eating at your thoughts and eating away at your creativity your knowledge your wisdom your understanding could have really made you question your passions your desires your dreams your goals Somebody is very jealous of your ability to shine brightly, your ability to believe in magic, your ability to believe in the impossible, your ability to have hope and faith and trust through it all, and your ability to just be able to dance through life like it's no big deal. We have Libra and we have Taurus. So um, these people could have even felt like you chewed them up and spit them out as well. I'm kind of getting that feeling too. So anyway, um, they may be jealous of your ability to say, no, I'm going to do things my way instead of the way that everybody else wants me to do things. You may also be a very fair and balanced person. You may be very headstrong or stubborn. You may be somebody who is very grounded as well and who works hard towards your goals. You're somebody who is just really, you're going to be getting a lot of rewards for doing things your own way, I feel like, as well. And these people are very jealous of that. So let's see what we got here. For people, we have creative person. Your creativity really drives this person nuts, I feel like. Stepmom, energetic person, an outcast, honorable person, student, a person in poverty. So, yeah, you may be somebody who... Uh, has had to work your way through school from a place of poverty or work your way through whatever you're working on from a place of poverty. It could even be a passion pursuit. Um, this could be a stepmom who's jealous of you. This could be somebody who's an outcast. This could be somebody who is in poverty or somebody who's a student and doing things by the book instead of doing things their own way. Um, I feel like you're somebody who's very honorable, very energetic, very creative. Um, you may even be outcasted from a lot of different groups. So you may really feel like you have nothing or no one. Um, but at the same time, this person sees you as having something that they don't. So let's see why. What about you? You believe in yourself and others. You never judge. You guide and inspire from a place of love. You are very giving and pure. You care deeply for all life. You help others whenever you can and you are you have a bleeding heart and that is an amazing thing. This in this hard cold world, sorry. You have a bleeding heart and that's an amazing thing in this hard cold world. Always keep your hope and belief alive. So you're just somebody very pure, very loving, very beautiful. You're, you may even be a light worker in this pile as well. Your commitment and loyalty are amazing. You protect those you love with a fiery passion. No one can cause you to turn on your friends and your family. So, you may have even stood up for and defended some people that were Libra or Taurus as well. Um, even if they did hurt you, you still stood your ground and stood up for them when the, when it really mattered. Um, you are somebody very committed, very loyal, very headstrong, just very passionate about your beliefs. They knew this was wrong. They made their decision. They didn't feel they are talented or recognized in their life. I'm so broken. All I do is break others. So whoever these people are, they feel like they are so broken that all they do is break other people and they're jealous of your ability to heal other people. They're jealous of your ability to bring your light. They're jealous of your ability to bounce back after situations and to really just be this good, amazing force of beauty in this world. They knew what they were doing was wrong and they still chose to do it. They really just didn't feel like they were talented or recognized in their life for their gifts or for their creativity, for their whatever it is. 
and they feel like you are very recognized for your gifts and your abilities. Let's see what else we have here. King of Cups, the Lovers, and Three of Swords. So somebody may have made the decision to break your heart out of jealousy, out of fear of not wanting to express their true emotions. Um, somebody could really be jealous as well that you're able to express your true emotions without fearing an outcome, without um, fearing what's going to happen, that you're able to remain emotionally stable and strong throughout whatever darkness you face. You're somebody who's very interdependent and is quite capable of being strong on your own, but is also good in a relationship as well. You're somebody who makes the decision to um, break a heart when you feel like you have to. You are also somebody who may have had your heart broken a lot, and at the same time, you are not somebody who pines after those people and gets obsessed with those situations. You're somebody who is capable of rising up to meet any challenge that comes your way. And even if you're hurt, you still make the decision to behave in a way that is emotionally stable and strong. We have gratitude and we have wonder. Today I am grateful for all of the little things. Even when the big things suck, there are plenty of little things that I can at least be a little grateful for, like hot showers and music and the fact that humans invented the internet and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to. Using fingers and thumbs that do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. Wonder. It's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder and when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled by it when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm I'm glad that I got a ticket to the show. So you're just happy to be here. You are just happy to be here. You are just happy to be experiencing life. You're very grateful for a chance to explore, to um, really do what you want to do and be creative and be this passionate, joyful, loving, emotional person. And you are just a wonder to other people. It's a wonder how you can continue to be this beautiful, grateful, amazing person when you have been through so much hurt and heartbreak. These people may have even hurt you to try to drop you down a peg, but they did not succeed in that. So the Ascended Master Bob Ross is with us today, and we're going to see what he has to say about your situation and advice for you. Let's make something nice, little clouds that just float around and have fun all day. You have to have dark in order to show light, just like in life. Whatever makes you happy, you put it into your world. So, if something makes you happy, put it in your world. Don't worry about what anybody else is thinking. I feel like you don't do a whole lot of that anyway. There may even be a lot of stability coming with a certain foundation that's coming into your life that's going to bring a lot of success to you. Um, you may even be planning a wedding as well, and there's going to be a lot of recognition, a lot of success, a lot of stability, a lot of good things happening. Just celebrate life, celebrate the moment, and enjoy those things. And remember that in order to have light in life, you have to have dark. If you don't have the darkness in life, then you will never see or be grateful for the light, which is probably why you are so filled with gratitude is because you have been through so much darkness in your life that you know what it is to see beauty. So make sure that you're taking time to have fun as well. Make sure you're planning fun activities and outings. Make sure that you are planning time to just let yourself be loose and creative and joyful and happy and fun. And also, you know, another good thing for doing that is cloud gazing and making shapes out of the clouds. I really enjoy doing that myself, seeing what you can see in the clouds. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated with your situation, what you might be going through at this time, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.